Hello everybody, this is Daniel Morrison, software engineer from Matrix TSL. Today I've got Ben Rowland, embedded engineer, with me. Hi Daniel. Um, today we're going to be showing how to use Flowcode 8 with the PicKit 3 programmer. Is that right, Ben? The, yeah, the, um, the PicKit 3 um, allows you to program all of the range of PIC devices from Microchip. Um, there is a PicKit 4, um, but right. I don't think that's currently supported by the, the tool yet. Okay. So we're going to look at the PicKit 3 and, and how we can use that to program uh, just a standard PIC device. So that's a 32-bit uh, PIC microcontroller? It's, it's, it's the entire range. It's the 8-bit, it's the 16-bit, and, and a 32-bit as well. Um, so this, this, this setup will allow us to program any PIC device. Right, brilliant. Uh, what I've got, to, what I've got set up on the um, webcam that you can see is I've got a, a PIC Kit three uh, just connected to a PIC thirty two um, right. chip on on a piece of error board, and all I've done is I've basically taken the, the the six pins from the chip, and I've connected them through to a header that I can then plug into my PIC Kit. Um, the, the details of this this header uh, are readily available on the microchip website, yeah. so it's, it's right. very straightforward. So I'm, I'm just picking a microcontroller device. Under general options, uh, I've set the clock speed, and under the conf co configure tab, I've just set up the configuration. So I'm just going to be using like the primary oscillator. So I've got a, I've got a crystal on my Vera board. Um, I've just set it to high speed oscillator mode. We're going to do a quite a simple project as well. I think yeah. so, yeah. yeah I, th a... I think we'll do a, a standard LED flasher. And Excellent. Then that, that sort of proves. The, the LED flasher may seem really simple, but it actually allows you to do things like uh, confirm that the chip's been programmed, confirm it's running at the right speed. Um, lots of things rely on the chip running at the right speed. So if, right. if delays are right, then things like board rates and, and more advanced things are going to be OK as well. Yeah, it kind of weeds out the vast majority of errors. I think so, yeah. It's, it's a really nice, quick and easy sanity check. Yeah, great. Now, to use the PIC kit, um, we have to go to Build and Compiler Options. And what I've done here is I've added a, a new um, I've added a new option for the PIC32 um, device, and I've named it PIC kit 3. And basically all I've done is I've left the compiler and the linker settings completely as they are, so we can still compile and link as was. And all I've done is I've provided a new um, option for the programmer. Now, if we go to the wiki page, um, we actually have this page called Supporting Third-Party Programming Tools. Uh, and you can see there's, there's, there's a, a few sections for various different tools. And for the PicKit 3, there's, there's two sections. There's one section using this PK3 command. That's actually quite old and outdated now, and it doesn't support the PIC32 range. Uh, but there's actually this MPLabX IPE option, which is the new version, and that does support the, the PIC32 devices. And, and anybody can download and install MPLab. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's just basically download MPLabX, make sure that you install the IPE as part of the installation, and then uh, these are then the settings that you plug into the compiler options programmer tab. Excellent. Um, so you can see I've got I've got uh, a link to MPLabX. Uh, I'm using 4.15, which is the, the the current version, and then I've, I've just copied the parameters as was. So I'm actually using this. Uh, powered at 3.3 volts option, and that allows me to power my device from the PIC kit itself uh, and, and don't need an extra power supply. Great. So I've set this as the default option, so when I compile to chip, um, it's going to use this PIC kit 3 option, and hopefully, all being well, um, it, it should program the board and it should run. And we should get a flashing LED. We should indeed. That's so, if we write yeah. our program correctly as well, which... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly... Uh, Drag on an LED. So I've just got a basic five mil five mil LED on the on the panel. Uh, I'm going to open the properties window and I'm going to assign uh, that pin to be on port B uh, fifteen. Um, so it's the highest the highest pin on on port B, and that's that's just where I've wired my LED on my Vera board. I'm going to have a loop. I'm going to use component macro and I'm going to turn on the LED and have a, de a delay for a second. I'm going to turn off the LED and then I'm going to have another delay for a second. Um, 
if I save that and run it, then you can see in the simulation we've got the LED toggling on and off and delays are um you know pretty much a second yeah so you can as you can see it flashing yeah <laughs> least, yeah. yeah and, and it's quite yeah. easy to tell if it's if it's close to a second or not yeah if it's either bang on or it's miles out so if i stop that and i do the compile to chip then up comes the compilation window and then we're already in the programmer stage uh, so it's initializing the pick kit three it's talking to the firmware and now it's talking to the can, chip you can see things happening on the pick kit three as well yeah, we've got so, a, yeah. a few LEDs on the pick kit yeah. flashing away. So this takes takes a bit more time than compiling directly to chip from flow code as well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah it's, it's 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 a bit it's a bit longer, but it's it's still fairly rapid. Yeah, and they they can see that um, the pick kit's powering our variable and the variable the LED on the variable is is flashing away, and the delays look pretty much bang yeah. on the second. There, yeah, that's so, quite good. Yeah, so that's a nice indication that. I can program the chip, it's running okay, job's yeah, good. You've set all your clock speeds and, yeah. and things correctly. Brilliant. Well so that was that was relatively easy then. So yeah, fairly pain free, yeah. So I mean if you're having any trouble finding the correct settings as well, then it's all on the wiki as well. To... It's all on the wiki. Um, if you type in pick kit um to the search, then it should take you straight to the page. Brilliant. Well I think that, that about wraps it up. So right, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for listening.